Just a major update on Ryan Pappenhausen. As we know, he suffered that patella injury last week playing against the Raiders. He subsequently posted on Instagram what his patella fracture looks like, uh, otherwise known as a kneecap fracture. That's what's called a CT recon of his uh, kneecap. He's got at least six fragments that we can see clearly here um, of the patella. We're just going to mark them out for you here. I know in the media they've talked about him having 10 fragments, so some of those extra fragments are probably where that yellow arrow is just there. So a very serious injury to his kneecap. This is what he's posted for his surgical fixation. So he's got three screws across the kneecap there. We just marked out the, the kneecap in white there for you so you can see it more clearly superimposed on the femur and the tibia. Um, just to mark out what those fractures look like uh, on the x-ray here, they're just marked in yellow so you can get a better idea of what they're all looking like. People will say, well, those screws don't capture some of those fragments on the outside, but they will largely be held by soft tissue provided you've got the main fragments fixed. Now, just to get a good look at the one x-ray that we're missing, it's called a lateral view. This is what it will look like. So you've got the femur here marked at the top. It's known as the thigh bone. You've got the tibia at the bottom here, which is the shin bone. And we're going to mark the kneecap or the patella just here. And this is the view we'd really be after to know if the surgery has been very successful. At the moment, we've got this front view. And the way that this front view is done is it's taken straight on here at the kneecap. And so that's what we're currently looking at, the x-rays that we have available. But we don't have a side view. And the reason the side view is important is, is it tells us uh, how well the fracture is uh, put back together. Now, this is not Ryan Pappenhausen's x-ray, um, but this is another smashed kneecap, unfortunately. And this is the view we'd be, we'd be after, uh, after the surgical fixation to know if everything's uh, in a good spot. The reason for that is we don't want uh, there to be a gap, as is marked in the arrow there, because that can potentially lead to arthritis in the future, and that could impair Ryan Pappenhausen's performance or even career. Uh, and so that's the really the, the most important x-ray at the moment. We haven't seen it. We probably won't get it. Um, but that would be the one most interest, we'd be most interested in. Now, Ryan Pappenhausen has been pictured in a splint like this. It's called a Zimmer splint. It basically keeps your knee straight. You'll have to wear it all the time. And the reason for that is if he flexes his knee or bends his knee, then what will happen is, is his tibia here um, moves backwards, as is everybody else. His quad muscle up the top here will pull the, in the opposite direction. And what it results in is a distracting force at the fracture site and can mean everything falls apart. So the surgeon will likely need Ryan Pappenhausen to stay in that splint most of the time, keeping the knee straight for the next six weeks to reduce the chance of the fracture falling apart. Now, if we go back to this fracture, we can see he's actually been uh, fixed what we call partially cannulated screws or partially threaded screws, meaning there's only there's only the bottom half is threaded in the screw as marked there. And what happens is, is when those threads cut into the bone, they actually pull it, pull it upwards. Uh, and what happens then is when the head of the screw then contacts the bone on top, it pushes it downwards and that actually compresses the fracture site. So that's just to get an idea of why they've used those screws in this particular scenario. But look, I hope you've enjoyed this explanation. Please take a look at one of our other videos or take a look at our NRL playlist. But uh, if you really liked that video, please subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. We really appreciate listening to our videos. Thank you.